Good morning, we're gonna do another cymbal clean. What I have here is a 20 inch uh, Zildjian ride and it's uh, 51 centimeters. <clears throat> so we have a dirty side and we have a somewhat clean side on the underneath. So I'm gonna start on the bottom side first. We're gonna use some lime juice, some lemon juice and lemon and lime. Okay, I'm going to slice these and rub them on the bottom of the symbol, and uh, we're going to see a transformation. Okay, and I got some paper towels and a, and a knife also. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's get it on. And that's it for the bottom side. That came out pretty good. That's nice and shiny. So now at this point, uh, this will be ready for polish, symbol polish, but I gotta buy some or order some. There's still a little, little bit of marks on the bottom. I think that the symbol polish will take out. But for the most part, that was uh, easy peasy. So I'm gonna turn this over, let this dry. And then on the other side, you'll see there's probably some places where I've touched it underneath with some of the, the lemon or lime juice on my fingers. So you should see some marks from that. Okay, just turn it over. Nope, and not really that bad. So this side is really dirty. So we're gonna, we're gonna give this a good uh, what for. And I'm gonna cut a fresh piece of uh, lemon for this one. These obviously have, these obviously have been used up pretty bad. Same thing with the lime, used up and discolored. Uh, this time I'm just gonna use lemon juice on this one. This should be quite the transformation. Might take a couple of minutes, but we're gonna speed it up. Uh, this section of the symbol here, from the other day where I just rubbed a slice of uh, citrus on it, okay? And that really made a couple of remarkable changes. So let's cut up a little piece of lemon here, a little slice of lemon. And uh, as they say, let's get it on. As you can see, this actually looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take it over to the sink and give it a give it a wash down with soap and water and dry it. And uh, I used a couple of different things on here, which was probably a bit unusual. <laughs> I actually tried some uh, Chemical Guys leather cleaner. That's what gave me that foaming action that you saw. I uh, tried the lemon, tried the lime, tried rubbing it. I uh, used the car detailing brush and uh, actually take a little a little citrus juice. I put it on a section that was a little dirty like this. And I just give it a little scrub-a-dub and it got down into the grooves of the uh, the symbol. As you can see, it gets down into the grooves of the symbol and take some of that stuff off. Now I'm not suggesting that this is a, 
a good way or a right way to do things, but it did seem to do a nice job in this case. Uh, I'll be back for final wrap up after I uh, give it a bath in the sink. Stay tuned. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. It's just still a little wet, but as you can tell, the unorthodox methods I used actually got this pretty clean. So it's still drying, so it's a little streaky, but uh, let me lift it up for you. Hang on. I don't want to get fingerprints on it, so. Actually looks pretty good. Even the bottom side looks like a mirror. All right, so that was a very unusual thing I tried. I uh, used the car detailing brush. I, <laughs> I used some Chemical Guys leather cleaner. I actually, uh, how do you like the Christmas cookies? Oh, my eyes look extra blue today, don't they? Uh, I used the leather cleaner from Chemical Guys lemon and lime juice, actual li uh, lemon, and uh, the damn thing came out pretty sweet. Before and after is amazing on this one. So uh, thanks a million for stopping by, supporting me, uh, checking out the crazy videos I put up there. And uh, have any comments? I'd love to see the comments and uh, see what you think. Uh, I'm going to move on now and uh, work on a pair of hi-hats, and I'll do that probably in a different way too. Thanks and have a great day.